Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Las Vegas, where I'm delighted to be joined by Ash Willis, Vice President Partners and Alliances APJ for Snowflake, along with Corey Briscoe, Head of Partner Sales APJ for Amazon Web Services, and Chris Casey, Director of AWS Partners for APJ. Such a pleasure to sit down with the three of you here today. Ryan, great to be back in Vegas. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. What a huge week it's been. Yeah, it's, uh, we're in the middle of reInvent, but uh, it's been fantastic, so thanks for having us. It's all happening here in Las Vegas this week. Let's start off by examining the partnership. How has it evolved over the years and what business outcomes are you driving collectively across Asia Pacific? Ash, let's start with you. I think it's evolved significantly over the last couple of years. Um, if I reflect back um, just a few years ago, we used to compete or at least the market used to think that we were competing on most of our deals. And uh, if I look at how that's evolved now, the vast majority of opportunities that we're working on, we're collaborating, um, we're you know, really focused on delivering the best outcome for our customers and our partners. And it's gone from being like an important partnership, but now it's one of our most strategic, if not our most strategic partnership. And it's great hanging out with these guys, uh, particularly in Vegas. It's always fun. Corey, we'd love your perspective. Yeah, I, so my team effectively works with our field sellers and our customers on a daily basis. And I think this is one of the most exciting um, partnerships that we have. I think how we engage, as Ash says, has significantly changed over the past three years. Our teams are deeply engaged in customer engagements. Um, and more and more, I think the conversation is becoming far more a business-led conversation, whether it be industry-driven or whether it be use case driven to a business persona, I think we're really sort of starting to change that conversation with the customers. Great to hear, Corey. And Chris, we'd love your perspective. Yeah, I think these two covered it really well. Uh, I think there's really strong executive alignment, but there's also really strong um, alignment and execution with our teams on the ground. And, and Corey mentioned some of the industry work that we've been doing, but also just more broadly about um, helping either people build skills or innovate uh, with data on the cloud and on AWS. And a good example of that recently is, you know, we, we did some joint sessions with the Snowflake team, putting together some free sessions for over 300 people across three cities in India that was really just focused on innovating with mm -hmm. data on AWS, um, with Snowflake and the AWS teams jointly delivering those sessions. So it's not just about, you know, the enterprise customers and the really large use cases that customers are trying to solve with their data strategy. It's also about making sure that the, the teams on the ground and some of the, the developers that are trying to get started with their data strategy on AWS um, see Snowflake and AWS working together to help them. Yeah, great point. And I'm going to give a quick plug for the APJ Partner of the Year Award. Sitting uh, right behind you here. Very, right? very proud to be recognized as AWS's Technology Partner of the Year for APJ. Congratulations so again. Yeah. <laughs> great insights and perspective. I want to take this one step deeper. What trends are emerging from your ecosystem of joint customers and how is Snowflake plus AWS helping to solve these challenges together? Chris, let's start with you. Yeah, I mean, I talked about um, just some of the foundational skills, but I do think, you know, when you know a lot of people we're talking about AI and generative AI, uh, and really for that to be an executable function and business objective, customers have got to have an end-to-end -end data strategy, and I do think the better together story of Snowflake plus AWS um, is really compelling to customers. And then going a little bit deeper in terms of what that means in specific industries uh, is certainly something that we continue to see evolving, uh, and we're certainly working with the Snowflake team across various different industries, but one good example is the industrial data fabric that we work together on in manufacturing. That's really like taking that end-to-end -end data strategy for a customer and making it real and relevant for them in the industry. Um, so we're, we're really focused on going deeper in industry with the Snowflake team and making sure that value proposition is clear. And then also, you know, in the broad awareness space, uh, you know, we did sponsor Snowflake World Tour across APJ. I think there was 10 different cities we did yeah. that in. So really just making sure we're at the forefront of working with the developers uh, and the business personas that, that need to be able to deliver on these end-to-end -end data strategies. Great to hear Chris, Corey, or Ash would love your perspectives as well. Great, do you want to go first? Yeah, happy yeah. to. I think, um, like you talk about customer engagement and I think that shift to that business-driven or outcome-driven conversation that we're having more and more. 
What strikes me as well is just the diversity of ecosystem that we're now bringing together in our go-to-market. So more and more, it's not just AWS and Snowflake. We're layering in there, whether it's an SI like Megazone in um, South Korea, or whether it's like I, we met a partner last night, Trillium, yes. that's offering marketing solutions that will sit on top of Snowflake and then obviously the AWS services. So I think we're going to see that more and more as we think about engaging our customers as well. That's a really good point. We talk a lot about this concept of power of three. So AWS, Snowflake and you know another partner, typically an SI. That's very quickly becoming the power of four or the power of five <laughs> or that. even the power of 10. And I think that this focus on delivering the right outcome for the customer is what's driving that really good collaboration. But if I think about the areas of focus, we all get excited about the possibilities around Gen AI and just technology in general. But what I always try and come back to is the vast majority of those projects fail at the moment because people don't have a solid data strategy or a solid data yeah. architecture. 100% and, agree. And what I've been really you know, happy to see the teams collaborate around is really focusing on those basics and those core elements to enable that customer success. And Chris touched on the events that we're doing together. I think what we did in India that you highlighted was a great example of that. But the fact that that's now happening all over the region, every single week, I think is a real testament to the power of the partnership. It's clearly all happening here in Las Vegas for AWS reInvent. What's top of mind for the three of you while on site this week? Ash, let's start with you. Me first? Absolutely. Yeah, so lots, um, lots of stuff going on. I think that it's great to see some of the new announcements that AWS have made, and I'm sure there's a lot of other announcements coming up over the next couple of days as well. But just this constant um, innovation and the way that we partner together on a lot of those solutions is, is very much top of mind for me. Um, the second part of that is working with our joint partners and customers to really have those conversations around how we can grow together. Uh, last night, we hosted a, a great dinner here uh, with some fantastic wine and, and food and a selection of our partners. And it was really just building those relationships. Uh, I'm a big believer that you have to have good relationships. People, right. like if people want to spend time together and want to work together, then the rest kind of figures itself out as it goes. So um, they're the two main things for me, really focused on uh, product innovation and that better together story, and then strengthening some of our, our partnerships as well. Great to hear. Corey. Yeah, for, for me, I think the week has sort of been, I mean, the scale of 60,000 plus people in Vegas. I think the whole strip is taken <laughs> over by um, AWS and obviously our partners. But as I think about the week, it's not only the innovation and the announcements we've made, it's the customer conversations. And I think, as I think about our partnership in that context, um, I think our shared customer obsession and how we're engaging our customers together is sort of the core to the success and what really strikes me out of the past week. Yeah, and we've got to remember we're not even halfway through the week. <laughs> yeah, we're exactly. Still, we're still very much in it. Um, Chris, your thoughts? Hard to follow those two. Uh, completely agree with both Ash and Corey there. Um, I do think that the hallway conversations and, and some of the, the conversations that are even coming out of um, being triggered by some of the announcements that are happening have happened over the last two days and will happen over the next two days. It's really just uh, reaffirming the urgency that customers have to move really quickly here. Um, <clears throat> and I do think we, we really are at the precipice of some of these transformational outcomes that we can deliver for customers. So Ash mentioned, but across APJ, we are really bullish about the opportunity that we have together to deliver those outcomes for customers. And weeks like this just really reaffirm that um, with the amount of customers and mutual partners that we have that have traveled thousands of kilometers just to be here this week. It's a true testament to um, how excited everyone is with the opportunity. Great to hear. I really enjoyed our conversation. But before we wrap, what's next for Snowflake plus AWS? Chris, let's lead off with you. Yeah, I think you'll, you'll continue to see us uh, lean 
probably more heavily than we have in the past on some of the industry alignments that we made. We really, Ash and both Ash and Corey mentioned it, but like focusing on customer outcomes. To make that relevant, we need to be able to speak the same language as them in the industry and understand some of the nuances of each of the industries that they're operating in in each of the countries in APJ. Because we really want to be able to bring um, beyond just the underlying technology, the actual business value to them. So I think continuing to see us both from a marketing and go-to-market perspective, but also from an offering perspective, go deeper in industry, is something you're going to see for, from us in APJ in 2025 and beyond. Thank you, Chris. And Corey? Yeah, I think like from a uh, customer engagement perspective, I think you'll see us far more deliberate in where we're going to engage together. Um, like Chris talked about industry, I think we're doing a lot of planning as a partnership around where are those areas within our customer base where we can really go and drive impact and innovation together. Um, and you'll see that consistently. What I love about this partnership is there's very few partners that address all of our countries across yes. Asia, Pacific and Japan. We're a pretty diverse region in that I think we've got 16 countries that exist across APJ and Snowflake and our partnership together is probably one of the few that is able to address that breadth of customer base as well. Good point. Yeah, really good point. So for me, um, accelerating outcomes for customers is the, the common theme, mm -hmm. uh, be that through industry, be it through enablement of our joint partners. And I think just really focusing on strengthening the relationship between the two organizations as well. Uh, I hear about some of the work that we're doing around the AWS Ambassador Program and people within AWS that are actively learning more about Snowflake and really being evangelists for us uh, internally. I'm excited about that program and just doing more of what we've already been doing and I guess doing it a lot quicker as well. So you never slow down, you always speed up. I love it. Well, such a pleasure sitting down with the three of you here today in Las Vegas at AWS reInvent. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.